Hi everyone, Amy here with Never Grant Vacations and now it's time to come fly with Amy. So today's vlog is going to be a bit of a review, also a literally come fly with Amy. Um, today I am flying on Allegiant Airlines for the first time ever in my life. And I'm flying again for the first time ever in my life from Sanford, Florida up to Allentown. So this is going to kind of be like a, a two part video in one. Um, so the first part is just going to be talking about my experience with Allegiant, kind of running you through what to expect. And then the other portion is the Sanford experience is what to expect on that. So what to know about Allegiant before you book and do this type of airfare. Um, so Allegiant is considered a low cost carrier. So when you purchase a ticket, it is just a ticket on an airplane. Anything um, you want extra, including picking your seat, carry on bags, personal items, checked luggage, all of that's going to be an extra cost. So I always caution people when choosing a low cost carrier. Yes, you may be paying $30 one way, but factor in all of those extras you may need or want as a convenience. So just so you know what your end all price will be. So um, I like the frills of flying. I like picking my seat. I like having my bags. I know I'm gonna check a bag. So for me personally, I decided to do a bundle through Allegiant when I booked this airfare. So you can buy your bare fare or you can buy two different sets of bundles. They're tiered a little bit differently on the website. Um, I chose the highest bundle, which includes priority boarding. I picked a nice seat with extra leg room. Um, I do get my personal item and my carry-on bag, and then I do get one checked bag. So it's like the highest tier, all the frills that you may want. Um, I decided to choose that because that's how I personally prefer to travel. I wanna say the add-on, it was a round trip airfare. So I think the add-on was an additional $100 on top of my fare. So like for me, that was super worth it because I already knew I was gonna check my bag. Um, so that's kind of how I got my ticket. Again, I've never flown with Allegiant, so this is a first impressions, first experience. Um, the second part of this video, we'll kind of talk about Sanford. So Sanford is located, I would say, probably about 20 minutes or so outside of Orlando proper. And it's a smaller airport, so it's some days more, way more convenient than MCO. You don't have to worry about crazy long two hour TSA waits. Um, there's not many airlines that fly out of Stanford. As far as I know, it's just Allegiant and some privates. So if you are if you don't like big airports, if you get stressed out, if you're flying with a family, Stanford may be for you. Now do note that Stanford does not have as many transportation options. So if you do decide to fly into Stanford, it's a little bit further to Disney and Universal. And you can get an Uber, of course, but it may be a little bit more costly than out of MCO because it is a little bit longer of a distance. Um, if you're going to look for a private transfer, you'll want to book that beforehand. So I just kind of like to caution that Stanford is still very close, but it's not MCO. And there's no, um, like Universal has their Rockstar shuttle, Superstar shuttle in MCO. It's not in Stanford. Um, there's no Disney transportation services. So just, just know that before going into Stanford. So I'm heading to the airport um, in just an hour or so. So I'm excited to bring you along. I'm going to grab some lunch, check out just the overall amenities of the airport. Um, and then I'll tell you what I thought of Allegiant and Stanford. So come follow along on this journey. All right, so we made it to the airport. So it was about a 35 minute drive from me and Apopka. I parked in the economy lot and, um, um, I parked in the economy lot and it was $13 per day. I really had to think about that. 
$28 in short term and then there's long term, but I don't know the price in long term. Um, I did walk over here. I do know there's a shuttle, but I don't know how often it runs. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, the walk from the economy lot is about a five minute walk and I have my luggage, so it really wasn't all that bad. So more to come and let's go check in. All right, so I just hiked to the um, ticketing and check-in. Um, so you'll notice Allegiant's really the only yeah, carrier that is here. Um, I did pay for the priority service, as I had mentioned. I am um, doing the, I paid for the bundle is what I just did. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to, um, you know, put my bag on, get rid of that guy. And I'm gonna head up and grab something to eat and show you the rest of the um, Stanford Airport. We made it through security. Um, I do have free checks, so it was even quicker. But even the normal standby line was all of like three people deep. So um, that's kind of the benefit of flying out of Sanford is the fact that there's little to no wait. You don't have to deal with the chaos that MCO is sometimes. So just food for thought and definitely something to consider. So I'll check in with you in a little bit. All right, so just to kind of show you what Sanford looks like. So this is the five through nine, I know these are the lower end, one through nine-ish maybe. Super empty, nobody here. Actually, most of the amenities are closed. I came over here to check out the lounge, which is not open. So just note that it's not open. Um, so it really only looks like about half the airport's in use right now. So I can't really say I'm surprised, but um, welcome back over to um, the other side because I'm hungry. So um, let's go see what else is over there. All right, let's take a look at the current state of the Stanford Orlando Airport. So as we're walking through, you'll see a very common Hudson News. Um, stock up on all your snacks and your little grab-and-go items. That's actually a pretty good size one. You'll see some of the gates. That's the gate that I'm leaving out of today. It's 10, so pretty standard setup. Um, like I had shown in that last clip, there is um, the other side of the um, airport, but it's not being used right now. So. Currently, this is really only your food option, so cheeseburgers. Doesn't look like the Cinnabon is open right now, which is a little bit of a bummer. And then you do have a nice bar right here, um, which is busy because there's not many other options here. You do have another little um, sundries shop. Um, so that's a nice little option there. Here are some of the other gates. So I did confirm um, Allegiant primarily flies out of here. And then I also saw Swoop, which today they were flying to Canada. So I guess if you need a lift to Canada, Swoop is there for you. Um, just your normal gate setup. I'm gonna show you this last little market here. So as we're coming down, again, pretty good size seating area. Um, I do see a couple little charging spots. Here's a little coffee area slash sundries. And yeah, that's, that's about the, the Sanford Orlando airport for you. So again, obviously much, much smaller than um, your MCO airport, but um, way less overwhelming, um, way less weights at um, TSA. Um, yeah, you're just way better. It's just way less stressful. So um, let me kind of show you where the departures are going today so you have an idea. Uh, this up here. Let's see. So I'm flying to Allentown, but a lot of different destinations up there. I know, although this is my first time flying Legion, I suspect it will not be my last because um, some of those cities we do like, like Roanoke, I can totally see us doing that. We're talking about doing potentially a Knoxville trip at some point um, in April. So um, I do very much see myself doing this again, or if not, going back home. So very convenient option. And if you are heading to Disney World, um, still convenient, universal, still convenient. You just got to figure out those logistics. So I'm going to touch back in with you guys when I am on the airplane and kind of talk about my overall experience when I'm actually on the airplane.
look at the Allentown Airport, known as ABE, Allentown Bethlehem East, and that's what that stands for. So we do have, okay, so back this way, there's a cute little Dunkin' stand, which I did just get an iced coffee. I am not sponsored, but Dunkin', if you're ever looking, let me know. Um, we do have a little bar area, which does look rather popular. It's a Friday night, so you know, can't really blame people. They're about to go somewhere, so get yourself a cocktail. And then, let's see, this airport is um, a nice little starter airport for your trips. You don't have many direct flights to many places. Allegiant does actually do some um, BT and vacation destinations. Um, but your Delta, your American, your United do fly into here, but they fly to their hubs. So for example, American goes to Charlotte to connect you. Um, United goes to Chicago, question mark? I think Chicago. Um, Delta goes to Atlanta. So it's a good like connector airport, especially if you live in the suburbs of Philadelphia, Allentown area. Um, the nice benefit to this um, area is that you don't have to worry about like major airports. Um, look at this super fun. Oh, I'm on camera. Hello. This is, I've seen these in photos, but I haven't seen these in live life. So these are like super high tech vending machines, basically like the new age of them. It's basically like a micro market meets, um, vending machine. It's super cool self checkout and everything. Very cool, very nice option. I've seen those on pictures, but I haven't seen those in person. Um, so this is the Allentown Airport. Honestly, most of the gates are not really in use. It's just that upper deck that we just came from that is in use most of the time. Um, these lower gates just aren't really in use anymore. Um, I've flown in and out here since I was a baby and I don't remember some of these flights being open. So just, you know, more gates than what they need it for. So, and right up here, we're gonna walk through TSA again. So, you know, small little airport, really good for Allegiant, especially if you are flying to Florida, Myrtle Beach, um, some of those beach destinations. It's a really nice option, I gotta tell ya. So, right here, TSA, and then you're ready to go out the door. So, um, super quick, easy, and convenient. Hi there, just landed um, from my Allegiant flight. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's really, it's very much like a, sim a similar experience to like a Spirit or like a Frontier. So very, you know, basic seating, um, very basic amenities. If you want anything snack-wise, you do have to pay for it. But you know what? Cheap fares um, get to you where you want to go. And what more could you want? So I recommend this. Um, I'm going to be flying Allegiant going back to Orlando. So if I have any additional feedback beyond that, I'll be sure to tack that one to this video. Um, but I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Allentown Airport as I'm walking out in case you ever wanted to see what that one looked like. Um, but if not, if you're looking to book your next vacation, um, be sure to reach out to me um, with the details listed in the description. And if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more amazing travel-related content like this. And until next time, happy travels, bye!